Hey everybody, how we doing today? So I'm gonna be releasing an all new line of All About the Bait products, but first I need to do a bunch of sample photos for the website. So we're here in my budget film studio. Uh, this is my above filming rig here. Now, now uh, before I get started, I'm having a couple of issues that I wanna resolve. Uh, one being this stick here is the uh, same stick I use for my kayak fishing video. So those above the uh, shots filming downwards or when I'm doing the underwater shots like my yesterday's video with the uh, lobstering, uh, I use it underwater. The problem with that is water gets inside this tube and then I come home and I'm needing to do this and then it slowly drips down on either the products or on my digital camera, so that's not good. And the other issue that I want to change is that this backlight here works great, but I want a little bit more flexibility in adjustability for it. So I think I'm going to have a separate pole just for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and build another rig here. Um, I took a look on my website and uh, I could have sworn I did a video on how to build this thing. It's just I couldn't find it right off the bat, so I figured I would do another one uh, since I'm using it for multi-purpose now. So it'll be feature and uh, be able to be used uh, just like I do for kayak fishing, but then adapt it so you could use it with a DSLR camera or if you've got a GoPro mount as well. So I'll show you how I did both of those. So that's what we're doing today. A cool thing about this setup is that you can just use these basic PVC adapters mount different components on it and then just interchange them as needed. So this one I've got set up for my DSLR and then this one I've got set up for uh, my GoPro as well. So when it's time to swap out or I wanna use a different camera, I could just basically twist this off. Could probably take the camera off, but no big deal. Take that off. Get my other adapter on there. This one happens to have my uh, GoPro adapter on it. Spin that on. And then now I could just go ahead and uh, mount any GoPro there. Now to mount these, I just basically put a nail in the uh, above rafters there. Uh, this one that holds my camera, I wanted it more stable. So I put the mounting nail up high and then I put a second nail where it actually will barely lean against it and that puts a little bit of a pressure on it and then I'll keep uh, any shaking in case I actually hit the pole. But that's all you need there. But if you don't have beams, you can also do this. And these are basically those uh, flowering pot hooks or any style hook into the ceiling will work fine. Or you could just use a, a 90 degree uh, angle bracket and then mount the uh, a, a bolts or something through this and then hang the pole off of that. So many different ways to mount it. It doesn't really do anything except hold the pole and then the gravity does the rest. Our product requirements for this basic build is a Mr. Long Arm extendable pole. Uh, I got these at Home Depot in the painting department. They run a little less than $10. This version is a uh, three foot collapsed and then six foot extended. The important part regardless of which kind of stick you get is to make sure that it has this threaded end. Uh, this is a generic thread that's used for uh, paint rollers, uh, window cleaning attachments, mops and so forth. So you'll be able to find those. Um, then the other components that we're going to require, we have two pieces of PVC. These are based off of a half inch format. One is a coupler with threads on both sides. And this side is just a plug with threads. So this is actually going to be our end cap, threads on there. Then we're going to have is a stainless steel screw. This is a quarter inch by 20 by half inch. Uh, the thread is the most common thread used for uh, 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 camera adapters. So we're going to drill a hole in the center of this screw that into that cap, and then we'll have the threaded part exposed for our adapters. Um, this will actually th thread on, even though this is a coarse versus a fine, uh, because the diameter is perfect, it'll just screw right on and it's not coming off. And that's basically gonna be our rig there. 
Okay, now we just need to bore a hole through the center there so we could thread our screw through the bottom out. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just use a drill, but you can also just use a Phillips screwdriver and just kind of bore through it by twisting, or you could heat it up with a lighter or your oven stove and then just pierce it through it so it's pretty soft. Now uh, you want the hole just smaller than the threads there so you can actually thread it into the plastic. Once you have your uh, hole board, just drop the screw in from the under, underside and then you're gonna wanna thread it on there. It should be kinda snug. So I'll use these channel locks to hold it. And then I'll screw it in till it bottoms out. There we go. And there's our adapter. And that's our quarter by 20 screw uh, sticking out there, threaded. And this is ready to go in the end. Now that's done, and then we could put the end cap on our coupler and just tighten that up there. And then you can glue all of this together. Um, I haven't had a problem with it coming undone, but you can also uh, make it permanent by just gluing it. And that's basically our rig ready to go. From there, you can add on any style of camera adapter. Uh, this is a mini tripod adapter for a GoPro. You just want to make sure that it has the same quarter by 20 in a female so that it spins onto our stud there. Um, like I said, this is the GoPro version there. And uh, this adapter will just unscrew. And then I could have the GoPro one on there. Just like that. And here's an adapter off of my Joby Gorilla Pod, and that I use this as like a hip ball swivel uh, for my uh, DSLR style camera there. So anything with that uh, quarter by 20 head will fit fine. Now this T is going to be used for mounting lights, microphone, other accessories. Just gives an area for things to clip onto. Um, works the same way. I've got the uh, screw-on adapter on the bottom that'll attach it to the pole. Uh, this adapter actually has a smooth opposite end. Then a little piece of a half inch PVC sticks in there and then this T mounts onto that. Um, I just added a couple of uh, two inch wings on either side, like I said, to uh, mount my accessories on. But uh, that will handle any type of uh, equipment I want to add. So the price for the basic pole build is around 12 bucks, so uh, very reasonable. Uh, add your different adapters, the GoPro ones you can get online for about six to ten dollars. And then a swiveling ball mount, probably around 20 bucks. Uh, if not cheaper. And there you go. That is my secondary adapter I made. Kind of frees things up a bit. And then I'll also be able to mount my microphone so it's easier for when I'm talking over the, uh, the video there. But all ready to go. And then I could go back to using this pole for what it was meant to be, which is out on the water. And then uh, I could bring it in and uh, use it for holding the lights if necessary since that won't drip water on my products. Alrighty, uh, there you go. So uh, now it's time to put it to use and uh, get it to start making some money. So uh, anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you next video. Bye.